My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course, prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them, all I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Well, here's our lady, and uh, if we are to believe the uh, start, she has committed suicide, or certainly attempted to. Uh, this is not normally some, and I hesitate to say game, uh, this is something I wouldn't usually put on my site, but uh, I think this is important enough and well enough done that it's worthy. Uh, this is mostly cutscenes with some player input and the player input does affect the flow of the game and where the game goes um, forgot what I was going to say oh this is uh, 18 or older that's what it suggested and um, also if you plan on playing this game don't watch this video if you are even thinking of buying the game, don't watch this video because it's going to be a hundred, almost 100% spoiler. Obviously, I will choose uh, ways to go that maybe you won't and therefore your experience will change, but that's still, it's still a spoiler. This is a spoiler LP, all right? So let's get into it and see what happens. By the way, I won't be talking much, so just enjoy. Hmm. Okay, locked door. Now we might as well examine it. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. Okay.
Oh, okay. One, one reality to the quite different one. Uh, yeah. Okay, a little uncomfortable. Ah, it says no pedestrian access. We'll get out of here. No, just kidding. Let's go with the flow. Dang. Can't go any further. Okay. Well, let's open the door. Everything's locked. I'm going to try again. No, well, I can't go any further that way. What if there was more options? Actually, I didn't... Uh... No, okay. Kind of um, struck out there. Huh? What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Answer me! me, my cold, dead body, right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? Examine. I look so calm. Turn ahead. Okay, open eyes. Even now, they still shine a little. Ah! Is that a key in her mouth? In my mouth? I better take it with me. Now that's a door key. We don't need one for the ambulance anymore. Can't go any further still. Okay. So. Save. Let's see. Okay, save. LP1. Yeah, I'll go zero one. Up arrow won't let me out of the inventory, so I'm not really sure. Well, I am out of the inventory, but it won't clear the view. Hmm. 
Okay, we'll live with that. They're all okay. Jesus. Can I see anything? Apparently not. That, I assume, is so that you won't go back there. Basically telling you, okay, you've done everything you can in that area. Rock on. Everything means something in this game. Let's go to the tree. And there probably won't be a tree. Ah, there is. Okay. Well, nothing happened, so let's go back and unlock the door. And we'll see what's in there. Lovely place. Hole has been boarded up with these planks. Sign underneath says emergency power switch danger. Look through. There's definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Uh, let's see. Can we pull? Not strong to pull them off with my bare hands. Okay. Machine, what the heck is that? Examine. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. Okay, switch on. How strange, there doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? Hmm. I need a plank or something like that. I didn't see any back. There wasn't anything there. Let's try this way. Just follow the little animals around. dead body hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on our neck? Is that a key? Body is too high. I can't reach. Rope. Untie. It'd take me on hours to undo this knot. 
No, okay. Examine? Rope is tight into a knot. Wow, thank you. Door. Maybe we just... Yeah, that's as far as I can go. Okay. done this. Is there anyone else here? Well. Do I really want to go in there? Do I really? I may never get back here again. <laughs> okay. Okay. down to the knife while I'm in that. Maybe I can... Nope. Alright, let's uh, choose a knife. If we... And we can't go anywhere once we choose a knife. Examine. It's a hunter's knife. Use. Oh my god! I'm just sleeping. Empty. Gate key, huh? Okay. Examine the icky beer. I icky beer? Icky deer. And we're not supposed to go this way.
might as well examine it. You know what a gruesome display. At least it's not my head stuck on the bars. True. Oh. Use. I don't want to go in here. Oh, maybe I do. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day like this. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? Death? Interesting. Yes, perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom, but I'm salvation too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while, keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. So I was wrong. You're not death? No, I am not. Perhaps I am life. But then again, does it really matter? What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom. And this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. She really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Now we can talk properly, my dear. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. 
you would be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is one name the Fallen Ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone? I guess that's me. Is there anyone else here? <laughs> Why? I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. I have no reason to live. Please, just let me go. I tried. I really did. But it's never going to be okay. Who knows, maybe. But one way or the other. This isn't the end of your story. It's only the beginning, my dear. And there are great things waiting for you. Believe me. What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special, just like you, only in a slightly different way. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down, whatever it is I have to do? Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel, because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again.
Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. And I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. It's blackmail. You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. 
You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. Crucified all alone in one place that's changed at all. I really don't want to be here. It's stuck in the cross. I suppose I could easily pull it out. to make a decision. The parasites are coming whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Don't you understand? There is no other way! Well, I don't know that. Besides, you could be lying to me. How do I know you aren't? I'm no murderer. I don't want to be. I'll find another way without you. What? Look, I appreciate you giving me another chance. Don't get me wrong. I can see now that I've made a mistake, and I'm ready to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. If there's one thing I learned in life, it's that people let you down all the time. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. You fool! You damned arrogant fool! You have no idea what you have just done! But fine, have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. I always am. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't want to know what's going to happen. It's hard enough without it. Thanks for everything, though. When we meet again, you will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances, so I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up.
I'm back in the house. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. Strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there is no smoke. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. think of is to go back there and turn on that machine. What the? How did I get back here? I didn't take this tack last time I tried this game. I tried it just to kind of get a handle on it, but I may regret ticking off the old gal. Pro probably will. the tree we're almost there now I know how Kirk J. Mack felt door enter okay Inside. Okay, I seem to have made a mistake. I, yeah, I did.
What the heck? This is where we'll call it quits until next time. I'm going to save the game and uh, then we'll uh, find out what happened. <laughs>